I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. Hey! The right plan. Up. We've done the work. I've been in town. What's going on? Look at Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. Quit with the ruckus! I'm tired. I know. I just... Well, between you and me, I'm nervous. I suppose, I suppose that's it. You're never nervous. That's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> you sure? Certain. <sighs> well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. And certain this is the only way I see we can do it. I've timed it out more than once. Well, you're the expert. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the Diversion, that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. And we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! Whoa! This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that, it's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some pick town, hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right, with security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on. Yeah. Everybody know the drill. We head in hard. Stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Easy.
Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. He's a true artist. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances.
John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. One at a time. Arthur, you go next. Come on, follow me. Keep it down. There's law everywhere. Like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> oh, 
what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said. Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. Fellas, Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. 
Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently, so when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold. I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Try to find another way. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> 